Hello folks, well, what we're going to have a look at is we're going to have a look at another Soviet bruiser coming your way soon. So, as you know, the queen of my collection is my Seconda tank. And look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? But I like these watches, but like obviously, like you know, like I don't want to wear this, otherwise this won't remain in its pristine condition all along. I mean, it's a bloody good watch, it's beautiful. So, enter. The $15 beta. Now, this wasn't the first. I, I'd actually bought another one. Um, I'll show you that quickly before I get involved with the other one. Right. There is like the one that last week, which I paid 35 quid for, right? You know, I thought, oh, I just changed the, the case over on it and it stopped working. So I've got to find out why, like, you know, I'm not impressed with that at all, but, uh, you know, and this, that, that one service, they kept beautiful time, it's just that when I put the, um, stem in, it just went into this kind of, like, automatic, uh, what's it like, you know, just like into auto time setting all the time, just refused to, like, do anything else, so, there we are. I haven't done much to it. I've given it a cursory polish. It's exactly the same model as that one down there, as you can see. I, you know, so this one is this one here. The Seconda is very rare because it's obviously it's um, a very unusual one. Like you know, the British people didn't really like these tanks back in the day. Right, uh, you know, but I think that is gorgeous, that is. And I've worn it like, um, I've got this Saturday and it's now Tuesday. And it hasn't missed a beat. I haven't had to wind it or anything. Oh, clasp is a bit trick. You have to kind of click it in and click it over. Uh, sorry. Uh, no. There it is. It's like a little tang just hidden under there. It locks into. Anyway. There we go. Looks a lot better on the old wrist, doesn't it? I mean, it's got a bit of crinklies on the old edge of the dial. Uh, the day when the day part of the day date day date excuse me um like you know is a little bit urgent like it starts off about nine o'clock it doesn't finish till about three o'clock uh, you know and that keeps a good day and date like otherwise if you don't mind waiting like half a day for the day right. it's an unusual light blue color which like you know like these were always like dark and gothic -y sort of colours, like you know, like light coloured one. I mean there is a like a light grey version I've just seen recently, which has got like it was a, a run of fifteen hundred of these watches made for common uh, as, as commemorate. I mean it's got some scratches on the chrome. I you know, but the whole point of having this watch is I want a beta watch. I want a watch that I can wear every day, not worry about it. Or you know, if I get it dirty or covered in muck, I can just wipe it off and put it on the side for the next day. You know, I mean, it's like it's, it's exactly that bright exact time as well. So uh, I cannot complain. Fifteen dollars. All right, the seller like messaged me, says, hey, look, I've got this going for $15. Do you want? And I thought to myself, yeah, well, I do. Like, <laughs> you know, like, and for $15, I've got myself one that is working brilliantly. You know, 
I mean, okay, if it had a pristine case and stuff like that, but the whole point is, is that, you know, I want, you know, I want something that's reflective of a tough urban, you know, get it dirty, smash it about a bit sort of watch. And this is it, you know. You cannot get better than a Slava tank. And these were called tanks twofold because they got like a, it's like a tank, anything like in watch um, terms with a, like a rectangular or square face, isn't it? It's called a tank as in a fish tank, right? But also because this is built like a tank. I mean, you know, look at those solid links, like, you know, I mean, then, you know, and these were the darling of the um, Soviet tank or, you know, they had their very, they, had, they liked to wear the black dialed ones, apparently. So, you know, make of that what you will, like, you know, so, um, but these are called tanks primarily because they're built like tanks, a bit like a larder, you know. I mean, larders were built like they were because, like, the starter motors were the same that they used in certain tanks over there, and the batteries were the same as they used in certain tanks over there, and you could literally drive, you know, yourself, like, some miles just by using the starter motor if your engine stopped. Like, you know, you basically just kept keying it over, got it to, like, in gear, and, like, on the way you went, like, you know, on the starter motor, and you'd probably get about five miles out of the battery, like, you know, in Russia, five miles is quite, you know, is, you know, you'd be five miles out of town, and if the bandits don't get you, the wolves and the bears or the snow will, you know, but I like it anyway. Right, we'll take it to the other view, and we'll see what else there is. So, this is a bit of a catch-up, like, you know, gratuitous shot. And you can see, like, you know, it's got so much presence. But it's not all we've got going. Mm -hmm. So, I made my first proper purchase from Cousins. Uh, Harley Ronda 6003B movement for my project of the week Invicta Russian Diver 4324 uh, four, I think this is Canton Crown Twin Spring Bars which is crazy uh, Invicta I mean the loom on it is, um, is insane because this is trick night see just excuse me a second while I quickly, the way you know, give it a loom. And if it'll show up or not. Now that is loom. Apparently it's like a tritium, a tritium powder mixed in with a uh, super luminova to give it like a really light, you know. Lost trages, right, you know. Well, obviously it's a bit hard to see with the light behind me. So that's the movement to replace that because it's got broken movement. Error Ben Sherman's turned up. So I like to keep things in little bags because in that way, like, you know, cats... Or, you know, don't knock things out and knock things off because you know I've learned very easily that cats can be an absolute nightmare when it comes to watches. You know, they can jump up and knock things flying. There we go. It's like a match in his and hers, Ben Sherman's. Oh, it's quite big. For some reason, it's saying 12 o'clock, like, you know, which is weird because it was telling the right time the other day. So, um, the reason this one has got the the bracelets too small, but I've stuck one of these soppy little um, extenders in there. Oh, you know, it's still tight, but like, that's Ben Sherman. I, I like that. And anyway, like, you know, I'd probably do something with that bracelet, like, you know, if nothing else works, because I mean, like, it's got quite a nice fitted end to it. So that's all going on there. Ben Sherman's a mod brain, or you know, so I 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I haven't taken this much out of the packet because I want to keep this like you know, this is one half of um, a project. I don't know if I can get get it to see it. It's oh, what's pain in the bum. I've got to find the. Um, I've got to wait for something to come from quite far away, like you know, for a case and everything. But in the in the case that's coming, like the crystal's okay, but the the dial and the movements all smashed up, and the case and the crystal were good. And this here is a 1960s porcelain dialed Stylon. Right, which well, is supposed to, it's a C-matic, which means that it's got an automatic date. Not that it's an automatic movement. So that can... You have to be so careful with these things, because like things are so, so fragile. You know, that's why I've been keeping it in a... Wrapped up in a bit of like, you know, bubble wrap on card. Um, oh, I had a job lot come from Russia yesterday. Ooh. Got some right like, square pole job. Well, I've got dark dialed versions of that. No, this one's a light dialed version of that. A standard common and garden pole job. Uh, it was this one that made me go for it. An anodized black and silver UFO case. I mean, everything else is pretty knackered on it, but I've got that beautiful seconda silver dialed one. That would look so cool, especially on the black strap. I reckon that would look very nice. So, you know, I bought it for the, for the you know, and I mean, it gives me some spares as well. All right, and, uh... Hold your um, quartz, which has got a very good dial. I mean, the, the crystal's a bit macked up the top, Lloyd, you know, but I mean, look, if you look there, Lloyd, you know, the dial, the hands, and everything else is okay. I mean, it's not been looked after. That's what inside of a quartz Soviet looks like, a Soviet quartz. Right, you know, like, there's, no, there's none of this buy my out stuff, Lloyd, you know, I mean, they made all their own quartz gear. Uh, you know, but this I, I'm going to do something with this. This would be a nice project because I mean, look at that. This it's like it's like a black anodizing on a, like um, quite a nice. You know, it's a it's a different version of a UFO case, and I think it's lovely. So I'll do something with that. I think I've got a spare. No, the crystal's okay on this one. Um, I think I've got spare movement for that, so I might have that. That means that now I've got a light and a dark. And this, well, you know, at least said the best. I mean, it's still a good case, uh, you know. And that's how I look at it, like, you know. So, here we go. So, it's not a lot been going on. I, um, I've got my first um, solar coming. Like, uh, Salah like, whispered me today in eBay and said, look, I'm not five quid off of this uh, brand new box. Pulsar, solar, like, you know, like 100 metres, you know, blah, 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 like, you know, it's got a lobster bracelet, um, I mean, it is, oh yeah, there's something else that turned up, no, this is a point in something or other, right, be careful when people, like, put stuff up on auctions, right, now I'm quite cross about this, now, I knew there were ladies' things in it, right? But it was done in such a way, right? Uh, these are the ladies' bits. I think, yep, yeah, okay. Ladies. 
Right. This was done in such a way so it looked like that. So this looked like a large Seiko SQ100 men's watch. It's not. It is a bloody ladies. I mean, yeah, it's a ladies Seiko, but it's still, it's, it's like, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's annoying. Like, you know, they've done it in such a way. They must have put a lot of thimble underneath it or something, and like, you know, like, gone, like, you know. Cause, I mean, that that was like touted, like, you know, they were kind of held up against like this. All right now, that's actually got a bigger dial, but like. So that's how, that's how I saw the photo, and that's how the photo was done. I, you know, and I, I looked at it, and I, I thought, you know, I can't be bothered. I just cannot be bothered, because, like, you know, by the time you've got eBay to get your money back and everything, like, you know, it's just no point. You know, what was over? Over a forever or a channel or something like that. I think I paid um, £8 for the whole lot. Which, yeah, okay, if there was a market for ladies' stuff, like, right, there's two Seiko ladies in there, right, but, like, ladies don't want to buy watches. So, you know, got a pile of poo, like, right? so I'm quite cross about that. Right, oh. That's the strap that the uh, Muvicta came on. It's twenty. It's a twenty-five inch NATO. Uh, you know, which I'm quite um, interested in. Like, uh, you know, because uh, the Muvicta um, is a twenty-six millimeter. Now I'm trying to find the link on AliExpress for the um, what you call it, um, the official uh, bracelet, because I know that they do them on AliExpress. Right, and they're a lot cheaper than what like uh, Victor want, which like you know they want um, is it forty three euros or something? Well, like, you know, which is worth all right. I oh, know, but it ain't worth that much. So, well, Shana has been and gone. Bloody, I'll clean my glasses and I'll put my thumbprint straight on it. Well, like, Shana has been and gone. She's returned back to Scotland, a happier lady. Uh, everything seems to be going okay with the other one, like, the baby is, like, fighting to get out of the box. I'm going to do a video for the little little cat. It's called Alba. Uh, you know, big shout out to Mike of My Metro, My, Me, My Retro Watches. My Metro, uh, you know, big shout out to Mike, like, you know, because he's done a Brilliant video on a Vostok Komodersky where he got a bit tucked up by the seller. Well, it does happen. It happens to the best of us. It happens to the worst of us. Right, you know, you know. And it, I, I like, you know, I look at it like, you know, it's, I just, I just find that these people like you do these, like, you know, they can't just be honest, you know. Like this pet reserved for them, like you know, on the side of the seven hells, like you know, just for those sort of people, like you know, no verity. No, no. Sorry, Verity's trying to like join in. Um, I've lost my train of thought there as well, like you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I I built my car selling Empire on the fact that you know it was no bullshit salesmanship, like you know. If the car had rust on it, it had rust on it. If the car had a bit of smoke on it, you said, yeah, it's got a bit of smoke, you know? And you were honest. You would say to them, like, you know, so when was the last oil dust done? And you say, well, I don't know. And so, sorry, I cannot tell you, like, you know? And in that way, like, you know, people got to know my cars that me and my mate Nigel sold in Bournemouth, like, you know, and the cars when I used to sell in South London, like. We, like, you know, we built up a reputation that we didn't sell death traps. We didn't sell, like, you know, we always made sure that steering, brakes, tyres, or you know, were always good. Never sold a duff car without those things. I you know, and um that's what that uh, we built a reputation on that. Like, you know, and we probably turned over more cars in the two years that we was operating out of my flat in West Al in Bournemouth, like, you know, than like all the car dealerships in the whole of Bournemouth did in like five years. 
Uh, you know, because we were there. If there was a cheap car, 100, 100 quid in the yellow free ads, we were there. If people came and knocked on the door, hey, I've got a car here, yeah, like, they, we were there. You know, we got my dog, Charlie, like, you know, for, as a part X, like, you know, because the, the geezer, like, said, well, you can have the dog and, like, have a go with my wife. And I said, no, thank you, like, you know, I'll just take the dog and give me some money. We were there, like, you know. I mean, uh, like, you know, I mean, like, some, I mean, you know, I loved it, but of course there's no money in second-hand cars anymore, like, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle on too much. Right, I'm going to... Look at that. That does look the biz I've done it. Right, you know. Yeah, it's rough, it's ready, it's ragged around the edges. It's like, you know, I... If you wore this to, like, you know, like, you know, with, like, a tuxedo at the Savoy Grill or something, like, they'd probably give you a right dirty look, like, you know, but, like, that's not where I'd wear it, you know? I'd wear this at the, I'd wear this, like, you know, at the, you know, the Savoy Grill or something, like, you know, I'd, I'd, in fact, I would probably wear something like my, um, Avia, like, you know, because that's the sort of place, like, you know, where you take a solid gold watch, like, you know? But when um, back in the 80s, my mum used to take me in a lunch to the Savoy Grill, and like, you know, and the waiters there, they hated me. And it was like, you know, because I was like, a real foe, like, you know, mockney sort of geezer, like, you know. And it was like, and she go, hey, dear, what would you like for your like, lunch sort of thing? And I say, bacon sarnie, like, you know, with both sauces, red and brown, <laughs> and then I hit on mayonnaise, like, you know, this, like, sludge of mess, like, you know, and, like, you know, and it's, it's like, you know, wait, it was like, you know, nose up in the air sort of thing, like, you know, and I'll say, oi, where's me chips, like, you know, <laughs> I mean, mum used to invite people to have lunch with us just for the entertainment value of me giving these people, these rich bastards, a right hard time, like, you know. And I, I, you know, I'd be sitting there, like, having me sarnie, I drink me mug of tea, sort of thing, you know, and I ever see some of these, like, people, and I'd say, what, what are you looking at, like, you know? And they're like, oh, and people would leave, like, <laughs> uh, you know, I was a bit of a, bit of a lad, like, you know. This was like a cup to the run up to when they made my telly programs, like, you know. So, you know, I will do a th I will do a feature. If I can find a way of transferring the actual Worm Channel 4 program to my computer, I will do some excerpts and I'll explain some of it and I'll do a full feature of like, you know, what happened, like, you know, with me and the two T V programs. Like, you know, so you know, there you go. Right. Take care. Lockdown end is in Sight, you know, this is all because you all followed my advice and not going around sniffing people as armpits. Like, you know, I mean, if any, if you know anybody who ended up with COVID for it, you know, it's because they were sniffing somebody's armpits, probably Gary's. You know, if you went around and sniffed Gary's armpits, you probably got COVID one, two, and three. Like, you know, all the way through to 19. Um, stay safe, stay lucky, stay legal. Uh, that's the three, like not not two. That's not that's not that. It's that three, you know. Be nice. Do no harm. You know. And that's it. You know. I was trying to explain to my daughter today about humanism again. Like you know, she's going on about Meghan Markle and like you know, black, white, and all this left, right, that, all that. You know. And I said, but look, I'm a humanist. There's only two things in this world that matter. One is man. One is woman. Both parts of the same human race. There's nothing else. Like, you know, it's just man and woman, same parts of the human race. I said it, I said to her, it clears away all the bullshit. You don't need to worry about funny books or funny people with things on their heads or funny people with, like, you know, great big weapons in their hands, like crosses, like, you know, bash you on the head with it, like, you know, because you turn around and say, look, I'm not interested. You're human, I'm a human. We're okay. There you go. And with that popular, um, you know, ending, I will, like, uh, leave it with you then. See you later and catch you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.